Y'all, this is so cute. This is the finished product. So it's Valentine's Day. Make sure that house is clean, sis. Clean that fucking house. He get off of work, have something to eat ready, have the house clean. Like, shit, that don't keep a nigga anyway. Should they still be out here chasing these goddamn scallywags? Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Black burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing. With Good morning, y'all. Mm. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good, good girlfriends. No, this car is so dirty. So dirty. It is February 11th, but it's only like 10 o'clock right now, 10 a.m. Um, I did a Safeway pickup order, so I am on my way to Safeway now to pick it up. But anyway, yeah, so I'm also going to Starbucks too, of course, because it's like, why not? We are celebrating um, Valentine's Day tomorrow, February 12th, because Sue has to go to work on Valentine's Day. So we're going to just celebrate um, tomorrow, the 12th. Yeah. And then on Valentine's Day or whatever, she gets off like early in the morning. So I'm going to just like, I'm going to still do a little something on Valentine's Day. You know, like have a little, um, some balloons and maybe like some little rose petals on the bed and then make her some breakfast and stuff like that because she works great, y'all. So when she gets off early in the morning, she eats her breakfast and then she goes straight to sleep. So, um, I'll make her like a little cute Valentine's Day breakfast. I ordered, um, I ordered, I ordered some, um, cookie cutters, like shape in a heart and i've seen like a little cute tiktok heart shaped pancake breakfast sandwich thing so i'm gonna make her that and then like just put a little rose petals on the bed put a few balloons and just probably like get her a card or something just so valentine's day can be special too but far as like us like celebrating it's gonna be tomorrow y'all wait till i show y'all this goddamn gift that i got for her Mind you, I think I told y'all that the girl wanted a goddamn inflatable hot tub jacuzzi to put in the backyard. You pretty much just plug it up, put your water hose in it to put the water in, and then let it heat up. Tell some I seen it on Walmart. She's talking about she seen it on TikTok and then she looked it up and they got them at Walmart. I'm not, I looked it up. That shit is like four hundred dollars. I'm not buying that shit. I mean, I would have, but I feel like, no, like, it's going to go to waste. We're going to use it just this one time for Valentine's Day, and then that shit going to sit in the backyard and collect dust. The cat's going to be in it and all this shit. Like, no. She's like, no, I'm going to put a cover on it and all this shit. Like, mm, -mm. But, um, I want to say I told y'all all of this already, but if I didn't, um, pretty much we're going to just be doing, like, an in-the-house Valentine's Day because, um, we don't have a babysitter. Well, we do have a babysitter, but I didn't want to ask anybody to like to watch the kids because I know everybody got plans and stuff like that. So we're going to do Valentine's Day with the kids. And then um, later that night, once they go to bed, we're going to just like um, decorate the backyard. And um, girl, this girl, I never bought this girl a projector screen and a projector so she can watch movies and shit outside. I mean, that's what she wanted though. So I'm like, okay. And it's like convenient. It's nice. The kids can even like enjoy it watching movies and shit outside and like if we have like guests over we can um like you know put the fire on and you know watch shit outside but i ordered it last night from amazon so it's supposed to be here today um i use my little prime or whatever so it's supposed to be here today by 10 p.m hopefully it comes earlier so i can put it together and shit um i'm excited though like I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be real lit. So her job is to cook the food, and then my job is to do the decoration, and then we're gonna just you know chill. I told her I wanted the pineapple. You know how you cut the pineapple in half, and then you put um, like the chicken, the shrimp, and the rice and stuff. I wanted that. I told her I also wanted um, homemade chocolate covered strawberries, like with the drizzle, glitter, all the shit. So. She's supposed to be hooking it up, y'all. I told y'all she coming with it this time. So, we gonna see. We are gonna see. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Like, safely drive up and go. How may I help you? Um, I'm in, do you, I just left out of Safeway. I'm in the line now for Starbucks. Do you know? 
Make sure it's the big one. So a strawberry refresher with lemonade, the big one. You want light ice? Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi, Sunny. I'm back from Safeway now, y'all. I went to Starbucks. I got um a grilled cheese. Them grilled cheeses are something else. They hella good, but I feel like they they toast them a little too hard around the edges. <laughs> but um, I just let the kids outside so they can go run and play. I guess I can show y'all like a little a little small grocery haul because I had to go in or whatever. But I got some essential waters because that's what I drink. Essential and Um I don't think I can give her her juice. I got a suja. This is the apple, banana, mango, lemon, and kale. And then I got me some of my um, chlorophyll drink. Hi. And I also got um, another suja. This is apple, celery, cucumber, kale, and collard greens. Some ginger shot. Juices and milk and eggs. And then I got the kids some fruit pouches. Stuff like that pretty much. So let me put this stuff away. I got a caramel macchiato just to try something different. Um, I don't really know if I'll get it again, but I'll probably come back to y'all later on. Y'all, the pack just dropped. Let's see what this is oh i'm acting like i don't know what the fuck that was a home theater projector baby teddy bear y'all i got a teddy bear a, um a, um inflatable teddy bear to you to decorate outside tomorrow it's about to be a whole vibe i told y'all but i'm about to put this projector together and see um how it works and get all that ready it's another box over here too hold on um but that shit though that um screen it has it comes with a pump though so hopefully it's easy and then i got some remember i told you i got the little lights the little fake candles a vibe for sure and then these um rose petals i think i'm gonna use these for the room though because if i put these outside they're gonna blow away so um i'm gonna use these for the room and maybe like put some on the table up there or something. Um, and i guess this is the teddy bear Oh my god, y'all, and it lights up. This is gonna be so cute. She is gonna love this. Oh my god. How cute is this? Okay, y'all. So I set up the um the um the projector, y'all. That shit is nice. Mm. Mm, that shit's like hot enough. Um, I'm rewarming my tea from this morning because I did not drink it at all. And um, let me pause this. I'm making the kids this for the kids for lunch. It is Korean barbecue style chicken. So yeah, y'all, so the projector works. It looks really nice, it's super clear. I tested it out in here on the wall right there, but the picture wasn't as like noticeable because it was like not dark. But um, 
Once it's dark and shit, it's gonna be better. Chicken tender breast strip paired with a soy free bulgogi sauce. Okay. But y'all, I'm um I'm trying to separate these rose petals so I can already have these like separated. Mind you, they come individually wrapped like this. Like, come on now. I thought they was coming like a bag of them, just loose, but I gotta like unwrap, not unwrap, but like they're like stuck together. So I gotta take like each one apart basically. So I'm gonna finish that while, while the kids are eating their lunch. Turn out my refrigerator because somebody just came in and just throwing shit up in there. Like, I don't know, for me, I like my refrigerator well organized like my waters labels to the front all that so i redid that today um that's pretty much it y'all i'm just trying to get shit ready get shit ready that's all but yeah y'all just checking in with y'all, let y'all know what's going on. My two, um, like I said, take each rose petal apart. So obviously, I'm outside now. Um, I'm about to try to open up this um, projector screen and see where I'm about to put it. Um, I don't know. I was thinking, I kind of wanted it in the grass, like a field theme you know but I don't know this is the yard it's really big out here y'all um so I was thinking maybe putting it on the gate right here and then like we're facing that way and then putting the fire pit in the middle but I'm not sure if it has to be like plugged or something I don't know so I was thinking if I just put it like in front of this wall of the house and then like we like watch it towards the wall right here I don't know. So, I was gonna put the screen right here, and then we was gonna be like right here with the fire pit facing this way. But I feel like that's whack. Like, I feel like I'm not using all my space. Like, all of this needs to be used. So I think I'm a um. I think I'm a pretty. I really want it over there. I don't know y'all okay so I did step one um, I laid it out and then now it says to open the screen and attach it into clips all around the screen okay so the screen is the white piece Good job, Messiah. Good job. Okay, y'all. So this is the finished product. This is how it looks. It's really nice. Um, I could have actually went smaller, but I mean, I don't know. I guess go big or go home. But the only thing I don't like about it is that you have to keep it plugged in for it to stay plated, inflated. Um, so if I wanted to move it, I would have to pretty much use like an extension cord to drag it to where I want to where I want it to be. I want it over here in the grass. Mind you, it comes with these little things that you're supposed to put in the grass so it won't move. But um but shit, it ain't gonna fucking reach. So so I'm about to um get their bath stuff ready. First I'm gonna do these dishes though because it's been really messy in here because I've been doing hella shit all day. Um, that I haven't had a chance to do the dishes or whatever and just like straighten up and light a candle and just 
you know, set the mood, set the tone for this evening or whatever. So that's what I'm about to do now. Um, do the dishes, light a candle, wipe the counters off, and then put them in the bath. And then once Jaquel gets here, I'm gonna take me a shower. And then, um, yeah, and that's probably it for the day. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another day with me. It's Burl Latrice. If you're new, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because you already know what's going on. He's smoking the fuck out that cigarette. But anyway, today is Saturday. Today is Valentine's Day weekend. Um, it is Saturday, February 12th. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody who's watching this. I know Valentine's Day has already passed once you're seeing this. But happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a good day. I hope that you treat that nigga right, sis, okay? And I hope that he's treating you right. Don't take no bullshit from him, okay? Don't let him or her, don't let her stress you out. Don't let her stress you out, okay? When you go to work, let me tell y'all. Hold on. When you go to fucking work, make sure... When that nigga go to work, make sure that you're taking care of them kids, okay? Take care of them kids and clean the house. <laughs> y'all, y'all know I be bullshitting. But for real though, it's Valentine's Day. Make sure that house is clean, sis, okay? Clean that fucking house. When he get off of work, have something to eat ready. Have the house clean, light a candle, have some little, a little something poured up for him. You know, have his blunt roll. You know, if you feeling real, extra you know run some bath water if you're doing hard labor you feel me do that shit you know but shit that don't keep a nigga anyway should they still be out here chasing these goddamn scallywags i'm on my way to the nail shop because um i think i was telling y'all my nail is lifting my thumbnail was lifting so i cut it so um I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to just get this nail fixed or if I want to get a fill. Honestly, I want to say this was just last week that I got these nails. So, um, so I don't know if I want to change them out already. So, I'm on my way to Starbucks right now. Um, I don't know if I want to get a matcha or a coffee. I think I'll probably get a matcha. See? Yeah, look. They be having the fucking people outside on the corner at the gas station, y'all. Selling flowers, selling little baskets and teddy bears and shit like that. Like, don't have no excuses. Like, how much do they want for this shit? Oh, they don't got no price. Oh, Like, I'm so grateful, y'all. That's what I be telling people. Like, I was talking to somebody a while ago, and she was basically telling me how um, she wanted to talk to me or whatever, but she don't feel like she basically like in all other words she don't feel like she's on my level or that she can afford me or basically you know no she didn't say those exact words but that's basically what she meant and i was trying to tell her like girl not at all like just because i i don't know i don't know like maybe i guess because i wear a designer bag like baby like i'm so like I don't, I don't mind. Like I like cheap shit. Like it's the thought that counts. Like I be telling Jaquil, like I be telling people all the time. Like it's just the thought for real. Like you can go buy me a card from the Dollar Tree and just write a nice message in there, and that will make my whole day. I don't mind the the fucking flowers from Safeway. You don't have to go to like these expensive expensive florists and stuff like that. Like I don't mind just like a cheap arrangement from um Safeway. Nine. It ain't be like the lilies I get for myself are nine dollars. Like. I'm totally fine with that. I appreciate all small shit. It don't have to be a goddamn Gucci bag or anything like that. Like, it's the thought that counts. And then I feel like if you really like took the time out to get me a gift that you know I would like, that really does something to me. Like, for instance, like my mom. Y'all remember I was showing y'all my mom, that gift my mom got me. She got me a, um, It is Saturday, huh? But my mom had got me um, that positive quote jar where basically you just pick a quote out every single day. And that was like, I really, really liked it. And I'm telling her, I'm like, mom, like I really, 
I really like this. Like, how you know I was gonna like this? And she's like, because I know you always on your positive and you know energy. And don't let nobody piss you off type shit. I'm at Starbucks now. I'm about to get me a matcha. I was trying to take me a cute picture this morning, but um. But yeah. Anyway, so I want to go to the mall. I'm trying to figure out if I want to get. Jaquel a Valentine's Day gift like even though she said that she wanted the projector and the screen and shit like that which I did get I feel like that's something that we're gonna share something like for my house but I don't feel like I got her like a personalized gift and I feel like since I'm gonna go to the mall I don't know I was thinking about getting her some Paco Rabanne y'all know, don't know what Paco Rabanne is the gold bar um, look it up, but I don't know. I kind of did want to go to Sephora, but I don't want to go to Sephora because I'm being there buying shit. I ain't supposed to, but I damn near might go. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah, I got me my macho. Why does it look so light? Like, y'all can't see that it's green. I got my matcha. Um, I got a venti iced matcha latte. And instead of the two percent milk, I got oat milk with um classic syrup, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, um light ice. And some sweet cold foam. And baby. Also got a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese from Starbucks, bitch. Bomb as fuck. My gas is always low. The grilled cheese from Starbucks is so good. But I be having to ask them to... Take it out the oven sooner because they be having it way too fucking crispy. About to pop my goddamn brackets off my um braces. Mm. This shit is hella funny. Why does she say February 14th? Yes, I will be with my ex who isn't my ex, but is my ex. I'm about to repost that shit. But let me go to this nail shop and then um I probably won't bring my camera in because it's gonna be quick. And I just want to be in and out. I damn near don't even want to get a feel. I just want to just get my nail fixed. I'm here at Party City now. I'm about to get some. Um, they just too expensive for me. Like, what the fuck? Like, $9 for this little curtain? Hmm. I need something else. I got garland. Oh, I should get some garland. Yeah, how much is these? A dollar each. Yeah, I'm about to decorate. I'm so excited. Garland. And then. Oh, should I get. Not for $25. I was going to get this for like the dresser. That would have been cute, but I'm not spending $25 on that. So. I just need a tablecloth. But anyway, let me get this stuff, y'all. Boom. Look at these. These are so cute. I'm gonna get one of these, I think. And then just cut the strings off and then let them just like float. Like let them float in the room or whatever. And then I should get I need some that's mixed with white so it'll match my tablecloth. Mm. I just went into the 99 cent store. Why is it so bright? I went into the 99 cent store and I went to the liquor store to get us a little sippy sip. Um, our liquor store guy is lit. Like he always, always giving us free shit. Always. I just bought a bottle. 
Look at this, y'all. I just bought a bottle of 1942, and he gave me this for free, talking about, um, I never did give you a birthday gift. Like, here, happy birthday. And gave me this for free. I'm like, okay, we is not about to drink all of that. But we for sure about to get a little lit tonight. We getting lit tonight. Hey. Nah, but, um, yeah. So I got a little decoration from the Dollar Tree. It's light. Y'all see the balloons in the back? It's something light. I spent probably like $60 on decoration altogether. Um, so, you know, we're gonna have a good time for the low. You ain't gotta spend a lot of money to have a good time. You ain't gotta spend a lot of money to decorate. You ain't gotta go out all the time. We got kids and we about to turn up with them. About to, we about to go outside with them, let them play and shit. Dinner, bath, in the bed. In the bed, cause your mama gotta get some head, no. 